All right, take three. We're rolling. <laughs> no swearing. I feel like I'm going to be hyper aware of you not swearing, but then I'm going to accidentally swear. And not Don't do it. Catch no, you can swear a little bit. It just can't be me dropping the F bomb like I'm saying and or uh. I say the F word yeah. more than Justin goes like uh. <laughs> and that's bad. So basically, today we want to do some back squat strength. We know we want to do something with clean and jerk, double under, and ring muscle up. We have a sentinel workout that's coming. The end of next week? <clears throat> the end of next week that we want to test. And I'll write that one out. That is going to be every 10 for two sets, 40 cal, C2 bike, 30 strict handstand push up, 20 sandbag cleans at 100 pounds, and then 100 foot handstand walk. Um, so we know we're doing that. Back squats. I was thinking either some pause or some tempo or singles. I'd be down for some pause. Okay. Like doubles? We haven't done doubles. Triples. Triples. Ugh. Okay. Uh, seven by three? Yeah. I love that rep scheme. All right. Um, and uh, it's that time of the year where burpees are critical. Oh, so. Yeah. We talked about, did you do your 60 yesterday? 60? 100? Mm -mm. Wow. I did, a, I did 100 burpees yesterday. You said don't worry about it. Bro. I did a rest, uh, it was supposed to be my rest day and I did three workouts. <laughs> 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 and Bryson goes, you hear that Colton? I don't deload anymore. On my rest day I do three workouts. Freaking idiot. All right, so, did you see what Dallin posted this morning? Yeah. <laughs> I said, it speaks. Yeah, that's middle school level trash talk, Dallin. I yeah, honestly I thought that was probably the best out of all, what all three of them have said, and it was very simple, too. Bro, all he did was call you a thumb. <laughs> no, he goes, I'm putting on this charity event, happy to work out with my fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, I'm not your fan, bro. I actually hate you, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, burpees. Burpees. That's how you say burpee in Spanish. Burpee. Uh, what was it need to be? What kind of burpee? We did burpee pull-ups earlier this week. I did uh, regular burpees twice this week. So probably a BBJO. BBJO. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, that you can you can't demonetize that right there, <laughs> brother. You don't know what that was. That could have been profane. It could have not been profane. Burpee box jump over? Yeah, I feel like we haven't done those in for a long time. Okay. Burpee box jack off. <laughs> do you not want to do that sentinel workout, the EMOM? Oh. The jerks? Mm. And we could find a different third movement for the. Well, it's supposed to be now. I, that's, mm, I don't want to do that one. I know exactly what that's going to be like, and I've, I just don't need to. Um, the burpee box jump over should be with, maybe it's just an EMOM. I don't know. What do you think? What should we pair? We have, let's see. We've got weightlifting. We've got mono, gymnastic, weightlift, gymnastic. We've got weightlifting, mono, gymnastic. Uh, it seems to me like... We probably need a weightlifting exercise with the burpee box jump over. Do you want to do these and then figure this out? Yeah, I know what I want this to be. What do you want it to be? I think I want it to be 18 alternating minutes. I don't know, sister. Uh, for, I mean, I think 135 is probably appropriate there. Yeah. I was thinking of doing 155. I was thinking when I still wanted to do the 
clean and jerk burpee imam from Sentinel. I wanted to just do it at 155. Ah. But with seven, I'll probably do 145. It. Yeah, maybe. Um, and then seven ring muscle up is going to get pretty tough. We'll just break it from the start. Look, you, I mean, if it's unbroken, that's 21 seconds. Yeah. So that's a lot of rest going into that. Yeah. This is going to be 20 seconds of rest. So not a ton, but enough rest. This is yeah. going to be 30 seconds of rest, likely. So I, it's not a super difficult EMOM, I don't think. You just need to make sure you approach it correctly. So yeah. don't go hot on the clean and jerks to start. And then if you need to break these five and two all the way, do it to get the seven done. Do you want to do it in this order? I like that. I either want to do this, 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 or yeah, or that order. I'm okay with, with doing this seems to me like a bit easier to warm up for. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe that means that's why we should do this first, like after the max squats. Yeah. I think this will be harder. Okay, then let's start with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we'll just figure this one out. Yeah. Figure out what we want to do when we get there. We could just do uh, some sort of interval with something else in it. Um, we'll think about it. Think about a weightlifting movement. We will put our thinking caps on. From what? I guess probably the bike erg. How do you feel? Messed up. I was about to say a word we're not allowed to say anymore because we have a clean channel. Yeah, we're clean. We're freaking, dude, we are Disney Channel friendly, I would say. Like, you could let your kids watch us, and they would probably learn about things that you wouldn't want them to learn about, but at least it wouldn't be the swear word, you know? They wouldn't learn how to say it. They would just have an idea. They what, would know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm... <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, your legs were cramping up. And you think that was just from the bike arc, not from anything you did yesterday, the day before, or earlier this week? You think it was I don't just think it's from anything yesterday. It was probably just... The first one was just so hard. Like the EMOM was so hard for me. It was mm. probably yeah, just... Yeah. If anything was going to cramp, it was going to be my quads. Gotcha. I'm, I'm really happy that you did that. Um... I mean, it's hard to do a session that you don't think you can do and to do it. Yeah. So I'm happy you did that. 
Yeah, I was glad. I was happy after the EMOM. I'm happy I did the second piece too. I mean, yeah, you got your second. Was, your second set was faster than the first, which yeah. was the goal. And the second set, you kind of fumbled around with trying to do some touch and go when you haven't. You just don't have the. You're not used to it. Yeah. The technique and everything. So, and you still beat your first time. I can touch and go the 150, but I. But like when I'm doing that, I still lap it first, and then. So I think mm. what was messing me up was trying to not lap mm. the hundred because yeah. just, I've just been using a 150 right, right. and the 200 for like forever. Yeah, the 100 is complete it's like a, it's almost a completely different technique. Like, yeah, it's um, a different movement. Yeah, I was happy with that. I was happy with the pause squats. Um I think when I'm doing my strength training, my strength squatting, um I'm going to start doing pretty much only pauses and where my knee wraps a little more. It just feels a little better. Um Those felt really good today. Yeah, allows me to go a little heavier. Um and you know, wearing knee wraps I don't know shit about them, but I guess my assumption is that they make it e they they improve your stretch reflex. They make your squats bouncier, and when you pause, you're not using a stretch reflex anyways. So like I'm not really taking a massive advantage from strength wise from the wraps. They just feel they just feel like they keep things tighter. It's almost feel like like I'm squatting with voodoo floss. Um, yeah. So it just feels a little better. So I was happy with that. Um, I was I you know meh. Imam for me, meh. I was happy with it. I wasn't sure how it would feel. I was really happy with that second piece. The handstand walks were really hard. Um, yeah, those were hard handstand walks. I was happy with like my strict handstand push-ups in the second piece because yeah. I haven't done them in so long and I'm just now starting to like build them back. Right. And I feel like I broke that up how I would have at any point. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. I, yeah, I was happy I did with 15, that. 8, 7 on oh, both sets. Oh, that's money. Yeah. Um. I, we, I mean, we're going to talk about that workout more. We're going to do a tested video of that workout. But um, the only thing we had left was burpees. And you've been up since 4.45 or whatever, 4.30. 4.30, yeah. So I'm going to come back. I coach later. So I'm going to come back and do some burpees before class in some form or fashion. See if I can rope somebody into doing a nasty little burpee piece with me. Probably just. I might just do 100 burpees for time or something later. Okay. Yeah, you do, do some burpees. Um, but, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Smooth day. Um, it was a really hard day for me. It wasn't very smooth. But. <laughs> we got, uh, we're going to Spartanburg tomorrow, so, and I have not taken a rest day yet this week. I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, and then I'll go tomorrow. Um, so I'm happy with today. I don't, yeah. I don't feel beat up at all. I just don't feel like I need to overdo things. Um, so I feel good. I felt really beat up after the EMOM. Yeah, well, and that just smacked you. I was like a big, that was like a... Yeah. That was a hard effort. You were going to like the 50 second mark, which was great. Yeah. I'm I mean, really it was, happy. yeah, it was really good to do. And I'm still glad I did the second piece after. Yeah. But like when we were bringing our sandbags in from this container out here, I was like halfway through carrying it into the gym and I was about to throw up. I was like, dude, I got to chill for a I minute. mean, you get fitter at the margins of your capacity. So pushing yep. like pushing that hard is good for you because that made you so much fitter. Yeah. Both of them, both of them did. Um, and it's not super repeatable. Like I can't expect every day to do something that I don't think I can do right, right. but you need um, to do that more often I yeah. need to push you that more often I feel like more often than not you're a little down on what you think you can do yeah at least from my perspective I think you can do way more than you think you can so I was I was glad you did that yeah before we started that Taylor I told Taylor I was gonna do 575 because um, I was like yeah I just don't think I can I don't know if I can do 777 and he was like well I don't think I can do this or he was like, I don't, I don't know if I can do this either. And he was completely lying to me. <laughs> and I knew he was lying, but I had to like tell myself he wasn't lying so that I'd be like, okay, Taylor doesn't know if he could do it either. So. And we talked about, in that E-bomb specifically, you know you can do 575 yeah. unbroken on the rings and quick singles on the bar. Yeah. So why don't you just do five and two on the rings, 70, and then seven moderate pace singles so you don't spike your heart rate like game it a little bit but yeah. i think you're better off gaming it and doing more volume in that particular workout than doing what you know you can do to yeah. drive fitness i think and that was the right move that was good yeah dope